Hey you guys, welcome to Maternity Tuesday. Do you love that these videos have been going up on Tuesdays and not Mondays? I know, I know. Um, that's just how life goes when you're pregnant, when you're 33 weeks pregnant. What? I can't believe it, it's so crazy. I feel like time has gone by really fast and I say this every video, but I still feel like I've been pregnant forever and I still have seven more weeks to go. But we have been so busy and we have so many things that we need to get accomplished before this baby is here. And so I think that that will really help the time go by quickly. So today I wanted to just to like sit on the floor with all of Elliot's stuff. The ship lap is still not done because next Monday, we are having the painter come in and do everything in the room. And this wood is actually so old that we think that the paint might have lead in it. So I have to be gone the entire day until they can sand it and seal it so that I won't breathe any of it in um, just because obviously it's toxic and we don't want any of that. So this is the last time you guys are gonna see this room like this before the wall is finished and this other wall is painted. So next week, I'm sure Maternity Monday will also go up on a Tuesday or Wednesday because the painter's coming in and we're so excited. We also will have a doctor's appointment and he's going to officially check me and see if the baby's dropped and all of that good fun stuff, which I'm actually really excited for. Um, I never thought I'd say that to go to the OB, but we love our doctor. He's super cool and I'm just excited to see if I've progressed and where everything's at because honestly, my symptoms um, this week and the last couple weeks have been so crazy. Like pregnant insomnia is the worst. You feel so tired, you go to bed and you wake up at 3 a.m. like eyes wide awake and you're just awake or you'll wake up at 6 a.m. eyes wide awake and I'm just awake and then come around 9, 10 o'clock after I've started working throughout the house and getting things done, I always feel like I really need a nap. Like I'm so tired that it's making me feel like nauseous, kind of how it was in the first trimester. So that's also something that's been saving my life. The third trimester is taking naps and not feeling guilty for it. I used to feel really bad and really like disgusted with myself when I wouldn't have the house clean and all my work done by the time Jackson got home, or if I didn't have makeup on. And nobody expects that from me, but I just expect that out of myself, I guess. And so I've just started to realize that I need to rest because this baby's gonna be here and it's gonna probably kick my butt. And yeah, I'm trying to rest more and I feel better about that. And yeah, after I take like a nap, like an hour nap, I wake up and I feel much better and I can get through the day. So thank the good Lord for taking naps. So I also have um, another shower coming up, which I kind of feel also bad about. I need to stop feeling bad all the time. It's such a silly feeling. But I have a Utah shower happening that my really good friend Margo and my wedding planner Leslie um, are throwing together for me. And I have a feeling it's going to be very extravagant. I feel undeserving of having so much stuff, but then at the same time, I don't feel that bad because it's for Elliot. And of course, I feel like he should just be spoiled to the moon and back. Um, it's just hard because I have so much family in Utah, all my um, grandma, my aunt, my cousins, and all of Jackson's family are in Utah. And so we just thought it'd be fun to like kind of do two showers, but it's kind of embarrassing because that's like a lot. So I just, I don't know, I'm really, really excited for that. I think it's going to be beautiful and extravagant just like this last one was, but I just, I don't know, I'm feeling a little bit like feel bad that I'm having two showers. Does that make sense to you guys? But at the same time, I'm like, why not? Let's celebrate and um, spoil this little boy. So I'm excited because my grandma wasn't able to attend my last shower and I know she really wanted to be there. So I'm excited that she'll be able to be there for this shower as well as Jackson's mom and sister. They weren't there and they felt really bad. And so I was like, don't worry about it. It's not a big deal. We'll just do another shower. Plus when you have such good friends who are like, let me do this for you, you, I don't know, I didn't feel like I could tell them no, it was so nice. So anyways, I'm trying to think of good thank you gifts for them for throwing those for me. I was thinking like pedicures and a card or some treats and a pedicure, I don't know. So if you guys have any good ideas how to say thank you for throwing a shower, please leave it down in the comments below. So more symptoms that are happening. Um, last week we talked about constipation and that has definitely gotten a lot better. In fact, it's gotten quite the opposite. I've been super sick like bathroom sick the past three or four days. 
Um, I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's pregnancy or if I actually ate something bad or if it's stress or what it's been, but I've been super sick and just have super low energy and yeah um in a way i kind of feel like maybe that's helping me not gain so much weight i've already gained like 31 pounds which in theory i'm okay with just because i know that like your body's gonna do what your body's gonna do but at the same point i also feel like i haven't been trying my hardest to like be the healthiest but some days it's really hard it really gets to me and it kind of like just plays with my mind a little bit just because you guys know i'm super passionate about moving my body and keeping it healthy and fitness and exercise and it's been really hard because I haven't been able to exercise a lot. I'm really, really sore every time I stand up. It's like I can't be moving around for more than 10 minutes without feeling like I have to sit down. Um, I have what the term lightning crotch, <laughs> somebody said. And in the last video in the comments, and I was like, what is that? But I like understand totally what you're talking about because I know what that is. So lightning crotch... If you guys don't know basically is just the baby the way the baby is sitting and is so low and when he moves it feels like sharp stinging pains going down to your pelvis area and I've had this for quite a while I've had it since like the second trimester so I don't know if this means he is sitting really low or he's dropped or he has a huge noggin or what but that's been really severe I've actually been trying to find a really good pregnancy belt um, because the one I have is just really uncomfortable and Elliot doesn't like it like when I wear anything that's too tight on my belly after a while I start to cramp and have little contractions and it just hurts so bad so I'm trying to find like a compromise yeah so trying to find a maternity belt that's comfortable that's really supportive but not too much um also we've talked about this in a video and you guys left me a ton of suggestions but I still need to look into it is a really good rocker for the nursery and I need a nursing bra and don't even say the word Victoria's Secret to me because those bras won't even hold the amount of back fat that I have right now I need like a bowling bag size worth of support that's comfortable because honestly it's like pre like I have to prep myself up for putting my bra on because it's so uncomfortable my boobs have just gotten huge and I just feel like they rest on my belly if I don't get the right support of a bra so if you guys know any I've heard um, there's some good ones on motherhood maternity as well as Nordstrom, but I need a size like the largest. So if you guys have any recommendations, please let me know. Um, so yeah, those are basically the updates, just really sore all the time in my belly and down in that area. I've been having a lot of dreams lately that I've hold, I've like held Elliot. I had a dream the other night that I was walking through Target shopping and just holding him. And I just remember feeling like I don't feel like life could get any better shopping in Target and holding my baby boy. And in my dreams, he seems just like he's such a happy, peaceful baby. And it's so funny because like as my dream starts, he has a little bit of dark hair. And then as the dream progresses, he gets more and more dark hair. <laughs> so I don't know if that's like my wishful thinking. I had a little bit of hair when I was born um, on the sides and mostly more on the top. Jackson only had hair on the sides and not so much on the top. <laughs> so this could be interesting. I'm wondering if he's going to be coming out with dark hair. Um, Cooper had a ton a ton of hair and it was like this like my color of my roots like a lighter darker brown um, And it was really pretty it almost looked like it had highlights and then he had this like tan skin Like where did this little surfer baby come from? So I don't know what he's gonna look like I think he's gonna have pretty blue eyes Jackson has really great blue eyes my eyes are like a bluish green They kind of change so we'll see what this baby's looking going to look like, but you guys should let us know down in the comments what you think he's going to look like um, more, me or Jackson. Okay, so part of the show that I love to do is like gifts that I've received for the baby and a product review just because I know moms who are looking for certain products and they like to hear and see things that maybe they wanted to buy that they weren't sure of. So I love kind of doing these like little segments where we get to talk about like new clothes and blankets and things. And I have a lot of good stuff today. Um, but first and foremost, shout out to my mother. She got Elliot these cutest little camo moccasins. These like have been such a huge popular item um, over the past couple years. They weren't like cool when Cooper was in. So it's been really fun to see moccasins come in. I love moccasins and these are just so super cute I love the camo so thank you mom also something that I didn't do with Cooper that I'm like like weirdly excited for is having a swaddle wrap um with Cooper it like it wasn't this was nine years ago and they hadn't really had they didn't really have those wraps it was like those big 
contraptious looking spaceship things that you looked like you had a strap onto you to have your baby be right next to you. And I never did that and I wish that I would have had something like I have I'm gonna review today because I feel like it's the best thing ever. These are like the softest swaddles and you can have hands free to be able to do your work or move around the house or just have your hands to like I know, edit a vlog, whatever you wanna do. And so I was actually, I'm the most excited to try out this product as soon as Elliot gets here. I always show Jackson the pictures on Instagram. I'm like, look, we can be like cleaning out our car and like folding laundry. And he's like, you are a little excited for this. <laughs> I don't know why, maybe because I never had it with Cooper anyways. So this is from Beluga Baby, which is like the cutest name ever. And they're a, a company actually from Canada because every babe deserves a cuddle. So I got this white and gray striped. I felt like that was like a really, like a neutral. Um, the things with Elliot, like the accessories I've been trying to get him with his car seats and um, his strollers, everything has been like black, white, or gray. Then that way I feel like we have a baby next. It's kind of gender neutral and it's not super set in a theme. So I got this gray and white one and then I also got a just plain gray one. They're really, really soft and I know there's a ton of different ways you can use them to wrap the baby and keep them attached to, which I feel like newborns love to be close to, especially their mamas and smell their milk. So I'm super excited to try this out. Like the second he gets here, I wanna be like, okay, bust out my wrap, I wanna try it on. So I'll leave um, their Instagram down below so you guys can go see the different ways that they teach you how you can actually attach the baby to you. Also, I know these are a great thing to carry around in your diaper bag to use if you're breastfeeding, which I plan on doing um, just to cover yourself up or whatever so you ain't showing no nipples. Or shop sent this cute little organic swaddle blanket. I don't feel like you can ever have enough of these and I love the pattern that it's just like neutral but really fun and different and it's not super themed. I don't love, I haven't been loving things that are like really themed like boy or girl. I just kind of like the more, I don't know, something that I would actually end up wearing myself. So this is from The More Shop. It's a really soft little organic swaddle blanket. This is also from The More Shop, a cute little bib to go along with that swaddle blanket. They also sent this darling outfit of this top and it's like kind of like a thicker top and it's stretchy. It's really, really soft. I love the Swiss army crosses and then cute little pants that I'm just dying over. A cute little beanie. This cute little t-shirt is from Sweet Life Apparel and Gifts and it says bake me a cake as fast as you can. Which again, I'm loving the gray and the white and the black and that's just the cutest little thing ever. Cutest little thing to put on a t-shirt. This is what their logo looks like and I'll make sure I leave everything down in the description box below. So if you guys are looking to shop or you want some of these products, you can find them really, really easy. I'm gonna try to pronounce this correctly, but this one is called Belle de Lou, I believe. I think it's French, so I don't know if I'm saying that right, but it's coconut and oat milk bath. Coconut and divine natural vegan um, dissolve one to three scoops and warm running. So basically just like some awesome bath um, salts for, that's like my saving grace. Oh, it smells delicious. I have to take a bath at the at the end of every night, if not two a day, because it's like the only time I feel like my body is weightless. I can't feel the pressure of the baby. So I'm really excited to use this and to have it. And I love that it's organic and natural. Thank you. They also sent me this cute nursing cover. Again, I'm loving the gray and the white, super neutral. You can use these to just like slip in your diaper bag. It has like the wire wiring around the neck so that when you're out in public and it's super light material, you can just throw it over your shoulder and breastfeed and no one has to see the goods. Okay, and then this is the flipping cutest gift ever. This is from Glitter and Spice and they are little silicone teethers. So they're safe for new babies. You just clip them on to their onesies or their outfits and they can like teeth, put their little gums on these, this cupcake. And then they sent over this cutest donut which I love, and then I love this one too. It's just a white one with like the gray marble wash and just really cute. Things I definitely didn't have when Cooper was a baby and really nice because I feel like moms are always trying to find something to distract their baby's hands with, so these will be perfect to clip onto their onesies or his little outfit. So shout out to my Canadian gals. Thanks for sending that little care packet, that little care box you guys spoiled us, and I'm so excited to use those all on the baby. So like I said, I'll leave all those down in the description box below so you guys can shop on there and find anything that you've been looking for. Um, before we do, or last but least, I'll leave you guys with a bump shot update, but baby is 
over 17 inches long. He is weighing more than four pounds, which is crazy. Um, I'm filling him all the way up in my ribs, kick up, pick up in my ribs, like at the very, very top and all the way down to my hip bones. So I'm feeling like with Jackson and I, this baby's going to be really tall, really long. And we're just so excited to have him here. We can't wait. So thank you guys for watching. If you have any ideas that you would like to see next Tuesday on maternity Monday, let me know down in the comments below. I'm so grateful for you guys and all your support and your comments. It really just makes my heart feel so good. I'm lucky to have you all. So I love you. Thanks for watching. Elliot, we can't wait to meet you and we'll see you next time. Thank you.